Hello, I would like to start this video by saying rest in peace takeoff. And now, the Chigorin variation. d4, d5, knight c3, knight f6, bishop f4, and here we have an explosive move, c5. There's two main ways to react to this. One of them is e3. e3 is more laid back. We can go d4 and take the pawn. If he takes with the pawn, a6, knight f3, knight c6, h3, bishop f5, knight e5, e6. This is more laid back. But if he takes with the knight, b5, then we can go queen a5 check, has to move c3. We take, he can obviously check us and give us a fork and attack our rook, but it's fine, he can take our rook. d8, b4, we move the queen, takes our rook, check with the pawn. If you want to become better at chess, there's two things I recommend. Following Alex Chess and going to the gym. Why go to the gym? Well, because it increases your endurance and makes you better at chess, preparing you mentally and physically. If you don't already follow Alex Chess, I will find where you live and bench press your whole house. D2, we go E5, Bishop E5, Queen B1 check, he has to move his Queen C1 and Bishop F5. In this situation, we have a really strong pawn, so black overall looks better. Plus, we can further develop our pieces into these spots. The more aggressive move would be e4 though. After e4, knight e4, takes, he takes with his knight, we exchange with the pawn, c5 takes our pawn, we go d1, take his queen, and also check. Takes with the rook, we go knight c6, b5, he pinned us, we go f6, he goes bishop e3, e5, we push our pawns, a3, bishop e6, f3, takes, he takes with the knight, bishop e7. This is not a standard game, but it is also quite even for both sides. 